Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. What you are witnessing is Beam NG Drive, the most current version, 24 point whatever, and it is running on a MacBook in crossover. This is unbelievable. It is beautiful I mean it performs great now granted we are just on the uh, plain grid map so as always we're gonna change over here let's go find a different map I personally like to use cliff for these kind of demos just because it's fun to drive a car off a cliff now I have no idea what this is going to look like when we uh, as I'm recording this in OBS okay so I, I can tell you that prior to my recording in OBS <clears throat> it was running pretty well uh, I would say it's actually running pretty well it's a there's a little bit of oops, a little bit of static a little bit of lag now I will tell you um, in addition to having OBS running ah, uh, I think there may be a couple of other things, but either way, this is fantastic. Let me see if we can get a slightly better angle. Look at that. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is on a MacBook, and the MacBook I have is a 2019 MacBook Pro. Uh, it's got the uh, i7 uh, 9750. 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got the uh, NVIDIA 555X or something like that. And phew, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, considering, uh, especially considering the uh, remote thing that I tried to do using my cruddy hotspot uh, the other day. Um, this is amazing. And the last time I tried this a couple of years ago, uh, you couldn't play the most current version of BeamNG. The best you could do was uh, to play... I don't know how you do... <laughs> I don't know how you hit home on a MacBook. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of a problem. All right, here we are in Grid Map 2. I know, we were heading for Italy, and um, I don't know if it was just my computer. I don't know. Anyway, it took a really long time, and I ultimately decided that it actually just wasn't responding anymore. So I thought, well, you know what? We can pop into Grid Map 2. It'll be fine. We'll grab ourselves the Bastion, because you know me. I'm a big fan of the Bastion. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Red Tail. And I know it's not going to look right with, you know, flame orange with the red tail on the back. I don't care. We're in here to play. We're in here to destroy. We're in here to mess stuff up. Ooh, and <laughs> loading in is a little rough. <laughs> it's still, there we go. I was like, it still has that weird semi-transparent thing. Look at there. Okay, so the frame rate is not great by any stretch. But, as I mentioned before, this is a 2015, I mean a 2019, 15-inch MacBook Pro. Let me turn down the in-game volume a little bit. All right, let's just... Do some slidey, crashy stuff. Oh, okay. Definitely runs into issues when trying to crash. Oh, and once again, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a home key. Uh, I, I need I need to remap my keys. That's what I need to do. So that I can uh, so that I can reset. Although I can hit, uh, I think R. Yeah, that works. R will work. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Come on, do it. Let's do this. Let's see if we can. So you can see, uh, at least I'm, I'm assuming that you can see that it is a hair laggy. <clears throat> but it is definitely playable. I mean, this is definitely playable. So here's here's a question. Uh, let me see somewhere in here uh, in the options. No, in the options, I believe I can turn on. Uh, where is it? Is that under display? I thought it was under graphics, where I can display the uh, FPS. I don't think you'll see them, but here we go. 
Toggle Show FPS. So I don't think you are going to see the FPS, but I can see the FPS. Uh, and I guess we'll find out here in a minute, because if you see it, then there we go. So actually, wow, it's actually running way worse than I thought it was. Uh, we are currently running, fluctuating around 20 FPS. And then now, uh, as we're driving, it's, it's hitting down around 14 or so. Oh, nice barrel roll. A little bit of crunch action. Yeah, it's getting... It fluctuates between 14 and about 22 FPS. Look at that car. Uh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Look, I, I know. It, it, this goes beyond testing, but that is... If that happened to my charger, I would be crying. Actually, if most of what I did to vehicles in this game happened to my charger, I would be crying. But in the meantime, all of that aside... So, okay. Oh, so I actually see an average FPS. So we're running about 15 to 16 FPS. So not great, but by the same token, I mean, it is oh, semi-playable as Dave goes barreling through the mud. Okay. Oh, ouch. Now, here's the other thing. Um, I have the game set up just with whatever the default graphics that it came uh, you know, pre-designed with. So there's also a chance that if I were to go in here into the options, let's just take a look. First of all, oops, let's, uh, let me turn off the FPS again. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, oh, oh, oh I didn't realize you could just have it in a little line. Okay, it wouldn't turn off altogether. Um, the quality level, everything is set at normal. So, you know, that also has to do with it. We also have Bloom. I could turn off Bloom. That would probably help things. Uh, Anti-aliasing probably help things. Um, but, you know, we have things like here's grass density. So we can, we can cut back on some of the grass. Tire marks are okay. Looks like most of this stuff is, is okay. So if we go back and get me out of here. And hit R to reset. That seems to improve things a little bit. But again, we're playing Beam NG Drive, the latest version in crossover on a MacBook. And it's not even an M1 MacBook. This is an Intel MacBook from 2019. So just the fact that it's playing oh, look at there, uh, at all, honestly, uh, kind of surprises me. Uh, I'm, I'm very... I'm very impressed overall. I mean, you know, if, if I want to play BeamNG in a pinch, I can play BeamNG in a pinch just using crossover. So let's talk about let's talk about that. Let me let me get out of the game here. Let's talk about how you do what I'm doing. All right. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you're going to have to grab crossover. And Crossover is available from CodeWeavers.com and you can download the demo. You can download the demo and you get a 14 day trial. All right. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to buy it. And as you can see, Crossover for Mac is $60. So you kind of have to decide is it worth buying BeamNG and buying crossover in order to play BeamNG longer than the 14 days. And that's, you have to decide that. But once you are done and once you have crossover downloaded, it downloads as a zip, you just double click on it, open it up, and then you will have a crossover icon in your downloads folder. When you double click on crossover, it will automatically set some things up and it will automatically pop up and ask you to install a new bottle. Oops. Um, and when you do that, then a window will pop up asking you to select an application. And of course the application you have to start with is Steam. And when you click Steam, then you can continue and you can in download and install Steam. Once you get logged into Steam, then just like you do in 
Windows, uh, you will pop into Steam. I gotta find my. Where's my Steam? Uh, there. Sorry. No, I want Steam. Can I not maximize? There we go. All right. So once once you're in Steam, I'm getting there, folks. Uh, once you're in Steam, then you'll go to. Uh, in my case, I already had the game, so I went to my library and uh, told it to install BeamNG Drive. If you don't already have it, then just jump over to the store, search for BeamNG Drive, and then you can buy the game and go from there. Uh, it will download BeamNG, and then you will also, you may or may not have noticed, uh, but you also need to get the Steamworks Common Redistributables. So you just wanna make sure that you get both of those and install the game once it is installed then you can pop over to your crossover with the bottles and you just double click the beamng drive icon and uh it the first time i launched it it popped up and it said that uh that, that i was upgrading from version 0 to 2412 just hit okay that's fine and then you can come in here you can tell it to launch the game and again, it takes just a moment. Now, when you launch it from crossover, at least so far, yeah. And you can see here, it actually launches in a window. So you can just maximize that if you want to. And there you go, now it is full screen. I can jump in here and you can't really hear because I turned it down. Let me turn up the, but you can hear that everything is working just the way it should and that is <laughs> that's amazing and here we are car jump arena in beam and g drive on a macbook pro 2019 no less running crossover oh my gosh <laughs> and it's even the latest version i just this is so so cool and it was so easy to do and for all intents and purposes, it was just like installing it on a PC. Absolutely piece of cake. Yeah, the FPS, you know, could definitely be improved. And I could do things like removing shadows and taking care of some other things. But, I mean, we're playing on a MacBook through a Windows environment. I don't want to say it's a Windows emulator. Uh, Crossover is not actually an emulator. Uh, it's a system of... <laughs> well, it's a system of various software pieces that all work together in order to you uh, in order to allow you to run Windows applications directly on your Mac, and this is fantastic! Holy cow! Okay, I'll have links to Crossover down in the description below. You can check it out for yourself. Oh, look at that. I love it. I love this game. All right. Anyhow, another quickie. Sorry there was a little weird stuff going on there, but there you go. Uh, hey, I do want to give a special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C., and Zachary for supporting the channel on Patreon and through channel memberships. Thank you guys so much. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed the video. Watching us, again, I, I know I keep saying it, but seriously, we're playing BeamNG. Current version, 24.2. Well, technically, 0.24, 0.2. <laughs> but we're playing BeamNG on a MacBook Pro. Dude, that is insane. I love it. All right, we'll see you next time. I'm David in Ark. Thanks for watching and have a great day.